Welcome to the Haskell introduction course by Welltyped. I'm Andres Lue, the lecturer of this course. I'm now a Haskell user for about 25 years and I'm still very enthusiastic about the language. I think Haskell is quite an interesting language because it is very different from most other programming languages. So even if you're a programmer already for quite a while, you're very likely to learn something new in this course. And I hope that you won't let that discourage you, but rather see it as an opportunity to extend your knowledge and perhaps see a new way of programming in action. Also, because Haskell is so different from other languages, I will use the first part of this course to provide a general overview of the language and introduce at a relatively high level the most prominent features of the Haskell language such as data types, functions, pattern matching, lazy evaluation, higher order functions, polymorphism and overloading, and explicit effects. The goal of this first part is that you see all the major concepts at least once already, but it is not the goal to cover them exhaustively. So everything that um, you encounter will be handled in much more detail again in uh, later parts of the course. Each of the parts consists primarily of videos such as this one. The videos generally have self-test questions attached to them so that you can like ask yourself afterwards a couple of questions. Sometimes self-test questions are simply a repetition of something that I'm explaining directly in a video and sometimes they lead a little bit further and try to encourage you to uh, think yourself a little bit about how a concept extends. Um, there are also actual sets of assignments and uh, these assignments consist of uh, small Haskell functions that um, again of course are related to the concepts that uh, we are treating within the course and that you're supposed to uh, work on yourself. It's very important that you write programs yourself. You cannot <clears throat> and I cannot stress this enough, you cannot learn a new language by watching someone else such as me write programs in it. You have to do it yourself. So um, it's really important that you try to write your own Haskell code and that you try the exercises. So therefore, you will need a Haskell development environment in order to get the most out of this course. So if you haven't already, check out the setup instructions for this course in order to see how you get an editor and a compiler and also um, Haskell language server set up properly. This course that we are now releasing to the public already exists for a while in this form. So um, while I'm just re-recording the introduction to the course for this purpose, most of the videos are actually older and um, you will also see me in most of the videos using older versions of GHC than you are now probably using. But GHC is the Haskell compiler, right, that we are using. But that's not um, a problem in practice, right? Um, Haskell is an actively developed language and there are new compiler releases all the time and there are actually also new features, but the core of the language is very stable. And so everything that we are dealing with in this course should al almost be the same as in the versions that I'm demonstrating within the videos. So I think I've said enough. I, um, I really, really hope that you enjoy the course and um, it's time to get started. In principle, if you have any kind of feedback, uh, we are always happy to hear about it. and. If you have questions about the course, which is of course absolutely natural, um, I'm sure there are many online places where you can ask questions about Haskell and you're welcome to do so. Um, but uh, if you need more, uh, we at Welltyped also offer um, paid support and connection to this course or for other purposes. And if you're interested in that, make sure to contact us. Have fun.